Art has always been a part of my life. I've never known a time where I started it. I have drawings from the time I was three. I became more aware that it was a part of my life, I'd say maybe around 18. And then I started to pursue formal education in the arts and I studied at Pratt Institute where I got a Bachelor's of Fine Arts. I grew up in the Caribbean, uh, in Barbados. Um, until it was time to leave for college. And I've always been interested in geography and history of the Caribbean. And my experience with Caribbean Link Residency, for example, has given me the opportunity to go to other islands where we don't share common histories sometimes, or sometimes we don't share common landscapes, common languages. And in many ways that has redefined my understanding of Caribbean-ness. So I've entered a new phase of my life, I feel like, cultivating my own idea of Caribbean-ness by participating in a wider conversation about what it means to be Caribbean. When I create artworks, I try not to be prescriptive, meaning it's not conclusive, but it is to spark conversation. And the white elephant does ask, what does it take to sustain my investment in my country as a young woman? in the arts as well. There are some realities, it's not a, a very huge industry there. You know, if I want to pursue it, I have to ask this question of what are the limits of my investment or how do I adapt to accommodate um, what I do and don't have access to, such as with the white elephant, which is inflatable. So I just fold it up and put it in a suitcase and take it anywhere in the world with me. And then when I unfold it, I have this life-size elephant. Um, and inherent in how it goes, it, it tr transports across the world and then remains exactly what it was in another place. Um, I try to analyze the parallels between that and myself or other immigrants um, as they leave the Caribbean or other parts of the world um, and kind of sometimes just deflate a little bit and expand in another place. Um, so there are some elements of it that are a little harder to, to embrace, but then there are some beautiful elements of it where you know that you can remain unchanged in a good way. Uh, but it is there to open, open the floor for conversation uh, about choices to stay in the Caribbean or to leave.